Hey guys, it's Nishante. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'll be painting a pair of customs that I was recently commissioned to do. These ones were different than some of my other work for two main reasons. One was that I was going to be painting a pair of vans, which is different than the Air Force Ones that I'm usually painting. So the technique is a little bit different. And two, this was my first time doing a portrait. On a pair of shoes. So, yes, I painted someone's face on a pair of vans. I'm not gonna lie, I was definitely uh, pretty nervous about this one, but they were commissioned by a client who has supported me tremendously in the past, so I knew I just had to make it happen for them. Are you ready to see them? Make sure you watch to the end of the video so you see how the shoes turned out and let's just get right into it because vans are canvas i didn't need to do as much to prep the surface i could just start working right away so i just got started on sketching out the design before starting i had already sketched out the drawings i needed on tracing paper so that i could more easily transfer them to the shoes Essentially, all I do is draw out the mirrored image onto the paper and then place the drawing side down where I want the image to be on the shoe and then literally just scribble over the paper. This causes the image on the other side to be transferred to the shoes and it's definitely not perfect and I do have to do some touch-ups and add in some additional details but it makes the process so much easier. With the drawing done, I taped off the sole of the shoes as well as the area surrounding the image just to protect it and avoid any potential accidents. I then went in with my mini blade and just cleaned up the tape lines. Then I went to the other shoe and used the exact same method to transfer the desired wording to the shoe and then taped off some areas as well. The top panel of the shoes on both sides was going to have a very traditional like van checkerboard design. I'm very particular so I didn't want to have to measure and draw this out four separate times so I did it once on tracing paper and again used the exact same method as before to transfer the drawing to the shoes and then I just had to do a couple quick touch-ups. This definitely saved me a lot of time. Lastly, I was going to be painting some of the front panels, so I just taped off the sole and sides here as well, just to be safe. And then finally, it was time to paint. I used the same Angelus leather paints I always use for my customs, but I just had to add in a fabric medium so I could use it on the canvas material. This made the paint a lot thinner than I was expecting, so I definitely had a lot of excess paint, but I'll know better for next time. This time around, I decided to go with the hardest part first, so I just went straight in painting the face. I started with a base layer for the face and the hair, and then went in with additional layers for coverage and then adding in some of the smaller details like his eyes, beard, the texture of his hair, etc.
turned out pretty good if you ask me. I started painting in the checkerboard pattern and then started to work on the other shoe. just did a solid black for the first section on the top of the shoe because I felt it made the front pop a little bit more. I had to add some drip, drip, drip. So I used the van stripe as the guide and painted it going from like a navy blue to a royal blue. I know it looks black here, but it's not. On the section under the checkerboard on the outer side of both shoes I decided to add in some extra royal blue as well just to add in a bit more color. Then added a gold outline around the text and also added some gold text to the bottom of both shoes as well. Finally, the last step was to lace these bad boys up. Oh, and I also sealed these shoes using two coats of an acrylic sealant spray as well, just to again protect the final design and all of the hard work that I went into creating them. So yeah, here's the final look. honestly so proud of myself after I finished them. I've really been pushing myself to try some new things um, and this was extremely satisfying to do. I love how they turned out. What do you think of them? Would you get your face or somebody else's face painted on a pair of shoes? Be sure to like this video and let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you're interested in ordering a pair of customs for yourself or as a gift for somebody else, 
you can email me here or check out my website artbynashanti.com and I've also linked it in the description below. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more art by Nishante. I'll see you guys next week.